Hey everyone, happy year 2024 and welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and today for your viewing pleasure I have a brand new freestyle drone on the market. This is by GetRC and it's called the Domain 3.6 HD. Now Domain 3.6 means that the props are 3.6 inches. This also comes in two versions. You can get the 3.6 inch props or you can get the 4.2 inch props. Last year when GetRC asked me to review this, I picked the 3.6 inch props because I said, hey, if you're using the same motors on the 4.2 inch and the 3.6 inch, well, then I'll take the 3.6 inch. And it's true, they're using the same motors on both sizes of drones. As a matter of fact, both sizes of drones have a lot of the same components. So you're really not gaining with one or the other. You're not really getting a bigger FPV quad when you get the 4.2 inch. You're just getting bigger props, which can push more air. And these little brushless motors are super powerful with a 55 amp BSC that they can handle the larger 4.2 inch props. Now, if you get the 3.6 inch version or the 4.2 inch version, you have a choice of cameras. You can get the DJI 3 camera up front, or you can get an analog camera and save yourself a lot of money. However, and this is the weird thing, this drone in all the sizes and the different cameras it comes in, is still over 250 grams. So if you're looking for a freestyle drone that's under 250 grams, this may not be the one for you. However, if you're looking for a freestyle drone that is super powerful, amazingly tuned for freestyle, then this is the one for you. As expected, GetRC put their new flight controller in it. So it does have the Tacker, I call it a Tacker, F7 flight controller. As I mentioned already, it's 55 amps. If I lift this up, you can see we're rocking a dead cat frame. That means the arms shoot out to the sides and the props are not in in front of the camera. So you don't get props in the frame if you film with the DJI 3 system. I don't know why they do that with a freestyle quad because the best freestyle quads are X frames and you do get the props in the frame, but most people doing freestyle really don't care about the video quality. They're just out there having fun flipping this thing all over the place. So if you wanna do cinema photography, this would actually be good for it. For receivers, it comes with plug and play. So if you get plug and play, where is it back here? You could use the DJI FPV Remote 2. If you get the plug and play version, you can also get it with Crossfire. So if you have a Crossfire remote, you can get it with TBS Nano. And you can also get it with ELRS 2.4. As I already mentioned, I have the digital version or you can get the analog version. So for digital, you're gonna have to use the DJI Goggles 2 or the DJI Goggles version two or the DJI Integra goggles to fly this baby. Another thing to mention is that these side panels do come off and they are customizable. So in the kit, you will get extra side panels and you get stickers and you can customize them. The only thing I'm amazed at is that in North America, in the FPV hobby, all FPV freestyle flyers like two colors, either it's pink or it's lime green and uh, neither of those colors were in the kit and before our flight let's talk about batteries so let me show you the two batteries i used so it does require 6s power so you need a 6s battery and up top that's the first battery i used it's very light at a 1050 and then the next one i used down here is a 1300 i'll show you when i use the different batteries this is much heavier the 1300 than the 1050 and you'll see why i use the two batteries also for your viewing pleasure to answer many questions i always get after i make a review I did one flight with no camera on top and just a battery and this thing flies amazingly. Then flight number two, I use the DJI Action 4 and I stuck that up front here. DJI Action 4 is up front and flew with that and it flies great. The only thing I have to say is this camera sucks at low light. It was a dull day. Never use a DJI Action 4 in low light or in the dark. The image is terrible. You'll see in the video, it's not very good. Then in flight number three, because so many people want to know, I put the Insta360 Ace Pro, which is the heaviest camera you can get, but it is the best action camera known to man. And I stuck it on top, look at how big it is, with a large battery back here and uh, flew it around at night. Why did I fly it at night? Because this this is the only camera on the market that can film at night. You know, action cameras can't film at night. As soon as you start moving them, there's no more stability or anything like that. Everything gets blurry. So I tried this at night and you will see the results in this video. So with all that said, my review is kind of long, so I've cut it down to make it very short and compressed. And uh, here we go, check it out. Here we have the GetRC Domain 3.6 HD. And here we have my hungover face this morning. And more importantly, we have a new guy at the field. This is Canon, and Canon is gonna fly the FMS Mall, the blue one way back there. It's gonna be his maiden, and are you pretty excited? 
Yeah, I'm more nervous than excited. Yeah, doesn't that face I'm look excited? Right now, I don't want it to say that way. <laughs> oh, he wants to keep it in pristine condition. So, I'm going to take the domain and uh, fly around and capture his maiden. And then after I fly the domain 3.6, I'll be flying my jet for the first day of 2024. Yes, this is the first day of 2024. It's New Year's Day. I had too much wine last night. I'm kind of hungover, so my hands are kind of shaky. But we're going to fly the new quad by Geparsi. Plug in the battery. I just plugged in a 1050 milliamp hour 6S LiPo battery into this. Now this can fly with a 1300 or 1500 milliamp hour 6S LiPo battery, but the specifications online says it only gets about three and a half minutes flight time because it's a freestyle drone. So that means all the power from the battery is sucked into the ESC, into the motors. So I don't know how much flight time I'm gonna get here, but we're gonna give her a shot. Glasses off, let's see if I have an image. Yes, I have an image, a beautiful image. Oh, this cable is frozen. Did I unplug these? I did unplug them. There we go. It's one thing with these FPV goggles. If this power comes out while you're flying, your screen goes black. And that's happened to me a few times. It's very scary. Okay, let's put it in air mode. Flight mode fast. Flight mode launch. All right, so it's doing well. And I see Cannon down there with Jacques. I've got very shaky hands. Anytime, Cannon, you can take off. I'll try to catch his uh, launch. This is a maiden flight. He's very nervous. Oh, I hear it going. There it goes. He's up. Give it lots of power. I'll come back. I just don't want to get in his way. He's flying very slow. And a tumble thundered in. Oh, you're gonna have to check your ailerons. My guess is this radio is set up incorrectly. Okay, well then we're back to <laughs> this beautiful Gep RC drone. That's the cool thing. I fly these things on a Maiden. I'm so used to flying every FPV drone under the sun that uh, I don't even realize I'm flying a new quad. Like they all fly so well, like there's no issues. So, so what do I think? Well, this thing flies really nice. Let's try it in a freestyle because it is a freestyle quad. Really slow. That was nice. Holy crap, Rooney. Look at how slow I'm doing this. There's the ground. And look at, there is no prop wash. Zero prop wash. Okay. I don't have too many drones that have zero prop wash when you do a slow turn. That is weird. Let's try this. Let's go fast forward and flip. And flip. While going forward. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's incredible. Telemetry lost. But it does tell me that uh, my battery's getting low with all that power. I'm going to slow it down here. Just let the battery relax. Okay, we have Cannon checking out his radio now, seeing if everything is A-OK. -okay. So this is pretty good, I could buzz around him. Are you trying again, Cannon? This drone is incredible. I'm just flying around them. This is a super powerful drone and I'm whizzing around them. Good thing about New Year's Day flying is uh, no one else is out here. Go by these guys and spin and stop. Now, when you're watching my videos and I tell you the flight time, that doesn't mean the video is that long. What I do is I chop up the video just to show you the interesting parts. So if I say I've been flying for three minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes, you might only watch two minutes of video of the total flight because there's a lot of boring parts where I'm just buzzing around, not saying anything. I think Cannon's gonna go again. Are you going again, Cannon? <laughs> so he's so nervous. Okay, here he goes. I don't know if I have, I have barely enough power just to catch this maiden takeoff. If he goes, oh, I hear him going now. It'll spin. Okay, here we go. Oh, he keeps on going to the left. And he's thundered in there again. So I'm going to land this and go and uh, help him because I can already tell what the problem is. All right, let's land this and then uh, I'll come back flying this again. But I'm going to put a camera on this the second time I fly. So here we go. Let me just try the other modes while I'm up here. Okay, so we just go here. Flight mode two. So there's horizon mode. It's very stable. And, uh, oh, I gotta come down. It says my battery's really low. It's gonna tumble out of the sky any second. And uh, there's angle mode. Okay, so I'll just pop over. I'm gonna go land on the grass over here. There's barely enough power to get back. So I've been flying for five minutes on this battery, guys. All right, let's land over here. There we go. That was a five minute flight over five minutes on that 1000 milliamp hour 6S LiPo battery. 
that's a way more than I expected, especially according to the specifications. That's really good. So far, I'm super impressed with this drone. I have not checked out the video coming from the DJI O3 camera into the recording unit. Haven't looked at that yet, so I don't know if there's any jitters. But I think what I'm going to do on the next flight is I'll put a DJI Action 4 camera up top with a big battery, and I'll show you what that looks like. So for flight number two, we have the DJI Action 4, and I'm going to put an even larger battery, a 1300 milliamp hour LiPo battery. So that's a lot more weight. I just want to see if it can really lift a lot of weight because a lot of people like to put action cameras on their drones. So I'm going to show you the video footage from the DJI Action 4 and I might switch between the two and we'll be flying with this heavy battery. I love that they put the X-T60 in the frame because it's so easy to plug it in with one cold hand. If you're wondering what the temperature is, it's minus six degrees Celsius with a little bit of a wind. Flight mode fast. Okay, here we go. Flight Armed. Mode launch. Engine off. Well, it's lifting the camera. It's a little slower. There's Canon over there. I don't know if both cameras could pick them up because my action might be pointed in one direction and the other one might be pointed in another direction. I will say with all the weight on it, it flies a lot slower, a little heavier. It definitely doesn't feel as flickable as it did. However, it has no issues lifting all this. Okay, Canon, anytime. Give it lots of throttle. There he goes. Let's see him going. I'm going to spin around so we can catch him. He's up. Okay. Now he's going to the right. How is he going to the right? Okay, something's wrong. Okay, let's go, go fly with this camera on it. <sighs> let's see. Can I do low flights? Come down on the ice. Yeah, lots of power to stay up. Go over here. And I want to see with this extra weight, can we do spinnies? I have to spin a little faster because it is pretty heavy. But the question is, with all these spins, do I get any prop wash? Very little, very little prop wash. This thing here is amazingly, amazingly tuned. This poor Cannon down there, he is very depressed. I might have to go fly his plane. Look at that, a slow turn and I'm still going. And next to no prop wash. I saw a little bit there, but next to nothing. Coming over here, behind me. Going over here. And up and around. And there's the guys down there. It is a screamer. It does scream. You can just hear it going. Poor Cannon. He's new at flying planes and he's been waiting for this day. And this was supposed to be a awesome flight. But something's going wrong. All right, so let's come on back. I'm just impressed that this thing here flies with the camera on it and flies no problem. It's fast too, it's very fast. So this, this quad seems to be crazy tuned. It's like really, really good. Let's come on back to me. And there I am right there. Look up down and land in front of my plane and this camera. <laughs> I love I love slamming into the ground. So what happened? Uh, I don't know. So first time ailerons were reversed, yeah. that last flight they weren't, but it was going the opposite direction. It was going to the right. And you, and you have, uh, did you have safe engaged? I, don't know. I need safer. Safer? <laughs> My poor quad. I'm super impressed with this quad. Like it can lift this camera, lift the heavy battery, flies no problem. You get a good flight time. All right, so now what I want to do is a test I've been wanting to do for a while. I want to see how good this DJI O3 camera is in the pitch black. So right now it's nighttime, it's winter time. We don't have snow on the ground, but it is pretty cold out. Look at my breath. <sighs> now, as many of you may know or may not know, uh, you can't use an action camera at night because action cameras can't record at night. They can't do any stability at night because they need lots of light to make stability. However, this is the Ace Pro by Insta360 and it has the pure view mode, which has a special chip in it to do low light filming. This camera I'm recording on right now is an Insta360 recording in the dark. So it probably looks pretty light here, but it's actually pitch black here. Let me show you, I'll put on a light. <laughs> So now, now you're really, now I'm really glowing. See, it's it's blackout, but when I turn this off, the pure view is going to do its thing. 
come to life and here we go so this camera that's recording me now is also an insta360 ace pro and it also has pure view so that's why you can see me in the dark here so i do have a little light to assist viewing me so i'm going to stick it over by the camera i'll turn it on now you see it there we go i'm going to put this light over here and it will lighten up our little drone so you can see a little bit better as you can see on the drone itself uh the screen is movable so i can view what i want to select so i'm going to select pure view on here and see how it works out now finally one last thing to mention about these cameras filming at night a lot of movement and things might look blurry so you know this is the test i want to check out for myself and the final thing i want to test out is if that little quad can lift that really heavy ace pro camera if it does it'd be pretty cool i don't know how well the image is going to come out but i'll show you what it looks like coming through the dji 3 and the ace pro in the dark okay looking through the goggles it looks strange i'm in acro mode here we go Flight mode launch. <laughs> all right so i'm flying through the light posts I'm just gonna stay over here. And of course, a car comes in this parking lot where there was supposed to be no car. And uh, there's my Jeep, there I am. Watch out for these posts or else you'll hear a big clunk. Staying up high. There we are. So this is a school ground. Anybody who comes here at night, I have no idea what they are doing. If they're just parking over there, they're just parking to listen to music or make out. Coming back, so hopefully the image comes out well, what you're seeing. There we go. Here, I'll go over into the pure darkness. There's pure darkness, nothing. And coming back. There we are. There's my world. Coming back. Now, I can't fly down too low because I won't see any of the wires, the electrical wires or anything like that. So I'm staying up, 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 up. I can sort of come down to where the road is. Like this, go this way. All right, let's bring it down for a landing. Okay, landing it over here on the grass. Come down, nice and soft. There we go. All right, if you look away over there where I'm pointing with the flashlight, that is where I landed. Oh, we're upside down. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So if anybody's wondering about these Ace Pros and are they damageable, I left this screen to be uh, loose like that. So you could flip it around and uh, I landed upside down, crashed and it's okay. Okay, so that was pretty impressive. Not only can it fly with the camera on top, super heavy camera, um, it looks like it could film at night too. So I'm going to go check what the filming looks like back inside. All right, so you're back to me. That was a pretty cool review, wasn't it? Probably one of the best reviews on YouTube where someone took it out, flew with the different cameras and different lighting conditions. Gives you a good idea of the capabilities of this drone. Now, the next thing I want to show you is what comes in this box when you get this baby. So check it out. This is the box your GEPRC drone comes in, and these are the specifications of the drone I used in this video. Opening the box, you'll find your drone and the accessories are underneath. This freestyle drone is very different looking and you'll notice there are not many access holes. Looking at the drone from the top, you can see the arms are rather short. And looking at the drone from the bottom, you can see we have a dead cat design. A nice touch was to place the XT60 battery connector right into the frame. The camera on mine is the DJI 03 air unit and you will see it is well protected with aluminum on either side. On the rear you can see the DJI transmission and recording system is well hidden although you can access it and place a micro SD card in it if you wish to record the video. And of course a DJI long range transmission antenna has already been pre-installed. A nice touch is that an external camera mount has also already been pre-installed. This USB-C port is where you connect your F7 flight controller on the drone to Betaflight Configurator to set everything up. If you order the drone with an ELRS or a TBS Nano Crossfire receiver, the receiver is then attached to the external portion of the drone. Included accessories include a spare set of props, two spare battery straps, two spare side panels in a different color that you can customize with the included stickers, a combination of spare nuts and spare screws, a GPS tray that goes on the rear of the drone, this is in case you buy yourself an M10 GPS module for GPS rescue, and finally you receive a large assortment of GEPRC stickers. Total weight of the Domain 3.6 without a battery is 310 grams. 
Okay, so back to me. Now, this is the part of every video I make where I give you my positives and negatives about the product. So the negative on this is that it is over 250 grams. It's unfortunate, but when they made it over 250 grams, they decided to make it so you can put a big 6S battery on it, a big camera, and still get awesome performance, which this has. I should also mention on the rear, you can put a GPS. Uh, it doesn't come with one, at least mine didn't come with one, but you can put an aftermarket GPS from get RC if you wish hook it on the back plug it in inside there's a little connector and you're ready to go so that's pretty much it the only one negative i had was the weight but everything else is positive this is a joy to fly as you saw in my review i fly hundreds if not thousands of drones well have flown since i've started this channel and i find today maybe it's my skill level but i find today i can fly anything and i don't even notice i'm flying something new so i was flying this had no idea how it would fly and i flew it and it flew as my brain thought it would fly and it was too easy to fly it almost felt like i was flying like a two inch quad like a quad very small with two inches where i could whip it around stuff it's very agile it's a very enjoyable flyer i think for myself personally i'll fly this with no camera on top just a big battery on top and i'll really enjoy it i do love the size it feels like a brick i don't think you can destroy this or damage this they've got aluminum around the front super thick arms it's it's really built like a tank for what it is so with all that said links are below this video where you can get this the price between the 3.6 and the 4.2 is almost identical so yeah you're not saving much money in addition if you get it with an analog camera then you're saving money and you still get the powerful motors and everything else of course a different video system but Hey, you're saving some money and you have an awesome freestyle drone and people who do freestyle do not fly very far. So that's why there's no GPS automatically included. If you want to use this with a GPS for long range, then certainly you can. You could put a lithium ion battery on top and probably get, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes of flight time with something like that. But it's going to be a very relaxed flight. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye.